So if you want to become like a college coach, high school coach, even a semi-pro coach, you want to listen to this video. Be sure to save or bookmark this video if you don't have time to watch it right now. So let's start with becoming a college coach. So the first thing you want to do is to begin to build relationships. And I want to start with this because you could have a college degree or a grad degree, but if you don't have the relationships, it's going to be tough to get a college coaching job. So number one, focus on building relationships. Number two, make sure you have a college degree. And I don't know any college coach that doesn't have a grad degree. Not saying you can't get a college coaching job without a grad degree, but it will help tremendously as you begin to get assimilated, especially to these D1 schools. Number two, becoming a high school football coach. Number one, again, it goes back to relationships. This is why I say it doesn't help to talk crap about other coaches. For example, if you talk crap about me, I'm connected to about 3,000 coaches around the country. So do you think I'm going to help you get a coaching job if you got a track record of talking crap? Hell no. Then number two, you need a college degree and also you may need a teaching certification. Now, most states require that you have a teaching certification to be able to become a paid football coach, but you can become a volunteer coach on the high school level, again, through relationships. And I'm going to give you some advice that one of my best friends told me that's a high school football coach. If you become like a math or a science teacher, you can get a job fast. There's a big teacher shortage out there and there's a big shortage of men working in education. So if you take up math or science, your chances of landing a job goes up dramatically. Three, pretty much the same goes if you want to be a middle school coach. Relationships, degree, teaching certification. And of course, if you want to become a youth football coach, little league coach, you can go to your local rec center and volunteer to become a coach. Even with competitive leagues, you can just connect to the people who are over the board or over the league. And chances are you'll be able to get in. Even if you're not able to get in on these competitive leagues, I recommend any way to start with a rec league. I personally like the rec leagues better than the competitive leagues because I'm focused on developing the kids and preparing them for the middle school level or the high school level. Competitive leagues are great. I've done rec and competitive, but I've enjoyed the rec league because I can focus on the sheer development of the kids in the program. That's pretty much it. I hope to help. Be sure to follow me for more. Beast out.